That's Officer Hines to you. <gasps> Colin! Duella has a birthday reunion with her mom, Jane Doe, which unearths a huge family surprise. Stephanie decides against her family, and Turner risks his new friendships as he continues to reel from the news that Batman killed his parents. Hello, entertainment enthusiasts. This is Ray, and this is the Fandom Realm, and today we are reviewing episode number 11 of Gotham Knights. As always, spoilers abound, so just be aware. And I do want to just real quickly thank everybody who's been following the channel and subscribing and making comments, uh, especially for this last video we did on Queen Charlotte. It's over 5,000 views now. I mean, that's that's just awesome. I, I, I thank everybody so much. That's, uh, <laughs> I didn't think, I thought it'd probably be years before, a, a year, another year before I had one video with that many, especially this fast. Uh, so I do thank you for that. And uh, with that, we're going to get back into uh, the swing of things. I was out for a few days. I admit to get this up, but um, I've been battling a, a nasty little bug. But it's gone now. It's not COVID. But hopefully we're going to be back to our regular schedule now. And with that, just to remind you what happened uh, last time on Gotham Knights, the team scrambled to help save Turner while Harvey undertook a risky gambit to get a handle on himself. Brody turned to Stephanie when he discovered his father's secret. And with that, I am just going to point out, if you did not know, there is not a new episode of Gotham Knights this week. That's why I'm going to play this today uh, and, and get it out there for you. The next new episode will be the penultimate episode episode which will be next week june the 20th and with that let's get in to episode 11 daddy issues that he was locked in solitary or that my mom called him the most dangerous man in gotham so here we go and there's duella as a little girl you know and frankly i never really found him all that dangerous oh she's so cute arkham let an eight-year-old wander the halls alone why am I telling you? Now that's a very good question, Turner. I like that. You spend every birthday either alone or with orderlies. And... All right, so catching the pillow talk here between the two. For the first time ever, you get to spend it with someone you actually like. <laughs> but do they have pillows in the library? He's willing to sign a sworn affidavit that Lincoln March is the head of a secret cabal that's responsible. Okay, go Stephanie. ...from the deaths of Mayor Hill, Cressida Clark, and Bruce Wayne. Oh, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Okay, so we have Cullen working out. Huh, who finally remembered he's a fugitive. And that sure looked like the walk of shame to me for... Turner. So, Duella, she's a look, and then you two came in. Oh, a little, uh, uh, testy. You're hugging yesterday's wardrobe. It's not really anybody's business. Boy, Turner's a skinny little guy. Guess he took a ride on the Batwing. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to laugh at that. Oh, my God. And yes, Batbrat is a very good kisser. I know you were wondering. Uh, she still calls him Bat Brat. Nothing happened. Several times. Like, uh, many, many times. I honestly lost count. Oh, that's craziness. Where's it gotten me, huh? I live in a belfry with a bunch of criminals. Oh, uh, he's still not over the news. I ran into him. I was gonna shoot this bullet straight through his heart as a go to hell for abandoning me. Okay, so a bullet meant for her dad would have been all over the streets back then right so maybe my contact knows what happened okay so she's has a plan i can't keep doing this mr brown i gave your wife a prescription last week if he's a doctor he's awful young you really are a lifesaver doc okay Oh, 
oh, you just got set up. And it couldn't happen to a nicer person. I believe she's on her lunch break. I mean, Stephanie, did you really think he wasn't going to find out? If you could prove any of that, I'd be the one in handcuffs. Hmm. Got you there. A real problem these days. With all the doctors Arthur shopped over the years, I hear he's facing 20 to life. Yeah, not a good thing. What do you want from me? Okay, so first section. Just want to talk about it real quick. And most of this section, uh, the first thing is just showing and, and getting this history back to the Joker's daughter getting Duella and, and having been theoretically walking the halls of Arkham without any guidance. Seems a little off, but, you know, this is a superhero show. And then, basically, uh, Turner's Walk of Shame, and then uh, uh, whatever's going on there with Cullen, I'm not really sure, um, you know, and, and him being worried. And then the, the, the talk between Duella. I threatened to call the cops if I tried to contact you guys. Why? I told her I'm Robin. Between Duella and Harper. I, I really enjoyed all that. That was, that was Would fun. Would it help or hurt to hear that the Joker's daughter banged that man's son? That's definitely a different way to put it. That visual is going to haunt me forever. Does he have some feelings for Turner? That I already knew because Bruce had confessed it in his journals. Have I been missing something all along here? Whatever they're doing has them dodging cops. Meaning you two need to find those dumbasses before the cops do. Yeah, that's that would be quite important. Yeah, it's crazy. That a beanie somehow makes me unrecognizable. <laughs> Oh, I love pointing that out. That's making fun of that fact. I love that. Remember that. Next time you think about getting handsy with a stranger. Ouch. He'll watch where he puts his hands next time. Who flew the coop? Time on. <laughs> so this is the infamous Jane Doe. When I got out of Arkham, I would send Duella a smoke signal. Mm -hmm. A bomb threat down at the GCPD. Okay, so I remember that radio message. Two months. And now you uh you gonna show up with a boyfriend? Oh, oh he's not a I'm... Oh. After what happened last night. That is actually why Turner's here. You just found out that Batman killed his parents back in the day. Now he's looking for answers. I've gotta think you're overreacting to that news. I can't help you, Dad. Wow, Stephanie's standing up to her dad. Awesome. Her from prison. You're not taking care of her dad. You're keeping her drugs. I'm keeping her alive. Okay, great points here. And I love they're doing the storyline. Let's help mom now. Before it gets any worse, okay? And she's just not going to go for that. I've been itching to get back in the game. Make a little money. Get my baby girl the hell out of Gotham. So Jane Doe's gotten out of Arkham. Thanks. Next round's on me. Ah, oh, she took the radio. Tell me, Franny. What's 5% of a $10 million reward? Aw, oh, boo. Come on, no. You're not going to turn them in. A police scan over at Somerset kind of involuntarily put in its paperwork. You got one around here that we can borrow until the... <laughs> I like Tim when he's in this. Bunch of the boys are catching the game at O'Malley's tonight. Win. He wants to feel like one of the guys, and so this sort of is allowing him to do that. First, you got to beat on Bruce Wayne's killers. Okay, so this section and sort of the big thing um, I really want to talk about here is I really like that they are addressing this prescription drug abuse uh, in, in the series uh, because that is such a big issue. In our society today, that's a huge amount of of drugs that are out there, or prescription j drugs that are are being over prescribed and and illegally prescribed and things like that. And so I, I'm I like when shows like this will address issues that are of concern for uh, 
people out out in today's society. You're meeting my mom, okay? I didn't want to scare you. She stabbed a guy through the hand. Oh, come on. He wasn't... Okay, so Turner's getting a little on the drunk side. We both know she wasn't released on good behavior. Turner, I don't really care why... Yeah, it's it's her mom. She's not really caring. Say, say my mom could get us out of Gotham tonight. Okay, and you can sort of tell here he's not comfortable. What about everyone else? Well, who cares about everyone else? You know, he's he's been the moral, uh, sort of the moral center. It's kind of pathetic. Oh, it's so much for not offended. Good luck, Turner. Or he's at least had that sort of moral center for himself. That. Did you help Bruce cover that up too? Batman had a code. He didn't kill. He killed the Joker. <laughs> that he realizes that he's not real comfortable with what she wants Have you to do. Heard that Batman, Batman killed your parents? parents? There's got to be a whole lot more to that story. Okay. And then I agree with Harvey here. There's got to be more to that story, and I can't wait to see it. Oh my! I don't like the, where this is going. Oh, I think I know what's coming here. Here, slow down. What? Harvey Dent was the guy who cried Looney Tunes and locked you away. Of course, I do know uh, what's coming. I've I've watched it, but I Your dad says it I knew what was coming when I watched fish. it the first time. You have okay, she is not a happy camper. Lie, meticulously and painstakingly crafted by you and Dad. I'm glad Stephanie's old and enough and mature enough to do this. I'm done being manipulated by you both. And and shows a lot of growth. Do you even love me or was that just some overpriced investment? <gasps> do not. Oh, child abuse. Come on. God, I hate that woman. You hate that she is selfless and kind and everything you're not. Where in the world did she come from? Oh, Stephanie's starting to realize somebody's got... Find Turner and Duello. Yep, two units are en route to the Bowery for a possible Turner Hayes sighting at the Ace of Clubs. Someone's got feelings for her. 18 years later and he still gives me the turn on tingle. Okay, ew. Okay, again, I, I knew what was sort of Your coming here. very kind and very convincible political opponent, Lincoln March. And, of course... Um, yeah. Charming. Hilariously crude Harvey Dent. So, Harvey is her dad. Wanting love. It was like I was dealing with two completely different men. Yep, so so Harvey is Duell's dad. Always said my dad was the most dangerous man in Gotham. And I meant it. I like how they played that in there, right there. Duella, meet your real father, Harvey Dent. Boy, it's going to be hard for her because she's always had the Joker up there. When I started to realize that the morning sickness wasn't from the cafeteria sludge. So she'd been hooking up with Harvey Dent back then. The Joker knew I wasn't his? Of course he did. Which was probably two-faced most of the time. I grew up alone being told on the daily that my mother was some unfit sociopath. She's getting really emotional here. What is this? Opportunity presenting itself. Wow, this escalated really fast. And I do just want to mention here, this is, um, if you remember in an earlier episode when it was revealed that Harvey Dent was Two-Face, um... I was complaining about IMDb and IMDb has to do a better job in the future because they also spoiled that Duella was Harvey Dent's daughter. They had her listed as uh, Duella Dent and uh, they had him listed as Two-Face and they, they need to do a better job, I think, of keeping that information um, down. It was a sort of, that was, they was, were both big spoilers. We dance. And really affected the way that. 
and it really affected the way the way I took that when it happened on on the show. Dispatch, I got eyes on Hayes. You hear that? Oh, poor Turner. Gateway address and run an arc with command to forward their security cameras IP addresses directly to me. All right. Just say hack into their All right, cameras. Folks, consider this last call. All right, so I guess it's save Turner now. And it took me a while to realize what they had done, that they had... Made it so the first car needed backup. If you take me in, I'm dead. Then you're lucky it's me and not some court executioner. I really liked how he delivered that line. It was that very desperate. To you. God. And just that 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 whole little series right there okay, I used to just felt very desperate. Disorder where there were there were two of me. So Harvey's known about this? I don't understand. Try and use your 30 seconds to come across slightly less psychotic than the Joker. Or is or are we talking to Two-Face now? In control, Duella. We spent 18 years apart because of him. This is your clean slate. So, so did he know and Duella. forget? Oh, goodness. Wow. Making a murder of her daughter. So, um, if you wouldn't mind not pulling a runner so I can actually eat dinner, that'd be great. <laughs> All right. Didn't ask you to save me. You don't have to ask, Turner. That's the point. Okay, again, is there something I missed here? Make all these idiotic choices and straight up lie to my face? Fine. When did he lie to his face? I don't, I'm confused. I'm not abandoning you. And one day when this all I'm really confused on this. It's me killed, maybe then. Maybe then you'll realize how much you actually matter to me. When did this happen? Okay. Ugh, goodness. I, there's a lot here. Um, so for this first section, I'm going to... I'm going to go back to Harvey and Duella. I'm going to talk about uh, our boys here at the uh, end. But this little um, idea that, that Harvey sitting sort of trapped right now remembers back then when he was with Jane Doe and that he had a multiple personality... Is he just making that up, or is he actually remembering what was happening and going on, or is that actually um, their puppet, Two Face? Uh, I, I think that's a question there. So now that my strength, I wonder. Cut, I don't even know when we'll see who I am. See or figure that out. Okay, so this has um, really turned into said we could hold up here for a something bit, of a show. A loose ends. Then we'll put this hellhole in our rear view. Okay, so was evil. Right, he kept us away from each other for eighteen years. This probably is not the reunion Duella wanted. I am so unbelievably proud of you, baby girl. Yeah, because she murdered somebody. Okay, so he's not dead. AMT's found it in your pocket. Okay, so she shot the night uh, the like owl coin. Suspected in the high-profile murder of Bruce Wayne has a new name, Duella Dent. Whoops, that's out there now. Harvey Dent allegedly sired the young woman with Arkham inmate Jane. Goodness, sire, that sounds so Doe, bad. Who claims she was locked away in order to cover up Harvey's illicit affair. Boy, 
boy, she's trying to get some vengeance here. The idea of my wife secretly tasking her talent to run me through with his sword. Oh, really? Your trophies for your son to find. I'd have told the talent to aim a little higher. So, is she really like the leader? Cord, and I promise you I'm going to do everything in my power to stop your husband. Aha, uh -huh. and poor Harvey still thinks she's in danger. Ugh. That's sort of a that's sort of a big revelation there though. And that all this is out in the public is really big. All right, guys, this is uh going to wrap up our recap of episode 11. Now we're going to move into I, what I call the review section. And this is just ups and downs, things I liked, things I didn't. Maybe going into more detail on some things I talked about earlier or just rehashing that. Just things that come to my mind. We're going to talk about it for a couple extra minutes here and then get out of here. And one thing I want to go back to and it played a big role early and then played a role here late as well. And that is, you know, I've been watching this from the perspective that Cullen has, I, I, I don't know where I, I got the idea that Cullen was more interested in maybe um, Stephanie, okay, um, or even, I, I thought, Robin, to be honest. But what's going on with Cullen and Turner? Um, it's almost like he has, Colin has a thing for Turner, but knows that now, at least now he knows Turner's probably, um, out of bounds for him, but it's, I'm just really confused on this point. If someone can point out some, some times when they may have been developing this, please let me know in the comments because this is just really confusing. I, I was really confused when I saw this, uh, when I saw it the first time, when I saw it and, and was going back through. I just don't see the development for, I mean, it's almost like a crush he has on Turner. And then, of course, Turner and the hug I mean, I, I can understand that uh, Cullen's gone through a lot. He's had a lot of respect for Turner uh, when Turner came back for Duella and um, or, or when Turner came back for them, um, you know, when Duella did her thing early on. And there's some respect there and he's got some loyalty, but it seems like that loyalty turned into more. And I, I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't know that it's been developed. That just sort of came out of nowhere. Now, they've been developing this Stephanie and Harper relationship for a while. And so that's not a surprise, okay? Um, but, you know, they've been developing Turner and Duella for a long time. And so everything that came to fruition in the last episode, and then we get to see the aftermath in in this episode, um, all that's something that was, was expected totally. But I, I'm still just, it's, I'm sort of speechless um, on this because I, I just didn't, didn't see that coming. And I, I don't think they're going anywhere else with it. It's just, I, I haven't seen that coming the entire season. Okay, the other really big thing here, and, um, you know, I want to say this is a down, is they're getting away from investigating and going out and solving crimes. Uh, they've gotten away from that a little bit uh, this episode and the last episode, and that's when I think the episodes are, are at the best. I would still put this episode probably in the B range um, because I really enjoyed it, and, and I really liked some of the things that we learned. I'm not going to go into a lot more detail and talk uh, too much more about the fact of spoiling Duella's identity or uh, spoiling Harvey Dent's real identity uh, in IMDb. That just should never happen, uh, and producers need to make sure things like that don't happen. It really affected me learning that um, in the actual show. The other thing, I absolutely, as I mentioned, I loved that they are going over this prescription drug crisis and they're showing something that's happening in real life on camera. And, and so that is awesome. Um, I really, a big up for, uh, I, I enjoy Cullen as his cop. He's able to be one of the boys, okay? And so with that, um, it's something that he is... 
uh, that's what he's always wanted to do. And so um, um, that's he's being one of the boys. And I would say he would have absolutely loved to have gone on that guy's night out, to be quite honest. But he had other things to do. And with that, I'm just going back and thinking, right at the start when he was working out without a shirt on, was that because, was that to get Turner's attention? Hmm, that's something to think about. Um, okay, let's see. Is there anything else I'm going to mention? Oh, yeah, just this whole Duella and finding out Duella is Harvey's daughter. And um, with that, it's a big surprise. It's really going to affect her, I think, in the long run because she is so much of her reputation is because she was the Joker's daughter. And now she's good goody two shoes Harvey Dent's daughter. And is that how is that going to affect her? Um I, I, I like that they did it and I just hope we get to see the result of putting that in to the show. And then the reveal at the end really like that the, the fact that basically Rebecca seems to be the one controlling the court of owls or at least she controls the talent and so we'll see how that goes in future episodes as well and then also with that I, I like the fact that they are basically keeping you know Turner is having the issues dealing with the Batman killing his parents and I mean I would too but there's there's times you know like right there in the the bar where he was talking to Duella where you know she was wanting to do things and, and he wasn't comfortable with that and that's why you like Turner even when he's going through this crisis he is still trying to keep sort of his moral compass pointed north and he's also very loyal and, and I think that's very important now with that I will give a grade I'm going to give this basically the, a B range it could be a B minus B plus a B uh, just in that range um, I thought this was a decent episode I enjoyed it uh, especially the second time I watched it um, I really enjoyed it even more and so with that I hope everybody enjoyed this review uh, I've really enjoyed Gotham Knights we only only have two episodes left starting back on June the 20th and so I'm extremely interested to see where this uh, takes us and where this first season ends and with that uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel we're on our way to 400 subscribers at some point um, so keep subscribing uh, keep commenting and keep smashing that like button and I'll see you next time on the fandom realm